Ani Adel Luthmore and Dijnikaz, Shiponaning and Don Shipa. Hello, my name is Adele Luthmore and I'm a Treaty Indian from Shiponaning. If you have been following the controversy surrounding the Métis Nation of Ontario, you may have noticed that their historical summary of Killarney and environs ends at 1901. For the last 123 years that our families have been living together here, MNO has nothing to say. And how come they remain silent about all the other Anishinaabe families in our community? In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the families that MNO left out. The de la Mirandière, Recollet, Solomon, and Tranche-Montagne families are in MNO's Family History Database. Each one is named a verified Métis family line, but these families are Anishinaabe, not Métis. Some of our families are not named in a separate file, but they can be found in the genealogy chart of one or more of these four documents. Like these people, for instance. The Bernard family was also known under other surnames, Feminakanong, Gijikopanes, and Baina. The Prus, members of this family also had connections to the Saugeen Ojibwe. The Pilos, whose descendants have Ojibwe and Potawatomi ancestry. Now came a gavel. Someone gave this family the name Cooper because Jacques was a barrel maker, and barrel makers are called coopers. The Prue, Bateman, and Pitfield families came to Shibonining from a reserve at the bottom of Lake Huron. And then there's the Bocage family, and the Boudry family, and several more, all before 1901. What about families who joined our community during the last 123 years? Some of them were here for a few years and moved away. Others have descendants who are still part of our community. Here are a few examples. Mr. Skelter came to Shibonining from a First Nation on Lake Superior. And then there are these families who also settled here. Kijiasaga, also known as the Green family, Medwayosh, also known as Williams. Meshki. The Mendoshkung family, also called Mendoshkin. Missianaquat, another branch of the Recollet family, the Sagamaw family. The Shaguaja family.
the Wakagishig family. and the Windabish family, also known as Wendabens. And here's something else for you to consider. This photo shows an unidentified bishop on the left. Father Julien Paquin, a Jesuit missionary, is on the right. This was taken in front of St. Joseph's Church in Killarney, probably around the 1930s. Father Punkez's headquarters was the Holy Cross Mission in Waquamakong on Manitoulin Island. Shabonining was one of the Jesuits' Indian missions. During the mid-1930s, Father Punkez started organizing historical notes about our community. The notes were typed into a manuscript that he wanted to publish as a book. In a chapter that he titled, Not to be Embodied in the Book, he talked about the intellectual inferiority of Killarney people, and he blamed it on our First Nations ancestry. He said that our blood will never be cleansed because we keep intermarrying with thoroughbred Indian families. Being Anishinaabe continued to be the dominant identity in our community, and Father Pakan didn't like that one bit. At the beginning of this video, I said that MNO's historical summary of the Killarney Métis ends at 1901. But the Supreme Court's Powley decision said that historic Métis communities must be shown to have continuity from before the time that Europeans took control of an area to the present day. The continuity in our community is clearly focused on Anishinaabe, not Métis ancestry. If you're going to support MNO's claims about the Killarney Métis, you can't ignore just the Anishinaabek who were here before 1901. You also have to ignore the Anishinaabek who were here after 1901.